For two months in summer 2012, I set out to write something of beauty. Into songs of myself I delved to sing honestly my only duty. I'd stay humble, stay low, blow like hootie, and reach across the Atlantic on a break from teaching. In turn, I fell in love with the art of reaching. More American than Stephen Colbert, I two-stepped to rap with my snapback cap. Why go to Iceland? Because it's there. I don't want to just stick pins in a map. I want more than Hamlet, more than the mousetrap. Perhaps the play's a thing, but I'm not a king. I'm just a poet who once heard the wind sing there in that storybook utopia. Ultimate Thule's green anthem did crescendo to the opposite of Jacob's Leah. Unveiled splendor with a dazzling green glow I won't soon forget, like the Alamo. If beauty is the food for which poets yearned, I devoured a feast while I got a sunburn. A rainbow played hide-and-seek at Gulfoss. The snow-capped mounds and snifles and it's odd. If you were my Rachel, I was your Ross. So many wondrous places there to laud. Was this Iceland or that place west of Nod? But nature didn't stir me late, late at night like you did when I held you and you held me tight. I'd followed this girl Claire to Lebowski Bar where you won me with that first fierce fray of glance and I shared how I cared about ice bears and you cautiously smiled at this rose and crans. If lovely as Paris, you were France. The next afternoon I held your hand at the zoo and my heart began composing this be adieu. A blanket, a coke, a Prince Polo bar, a second date, you became my lodestar. The words all rhymed, the stars aligned, we went far, far, farther than Tracy Chapman's fast car. Once in his life, man in motion, John Parr. Like the country boy in Rosetta Stone's ad, I had to call Usher because I got it bad. A fellow told me Elvis Costello was playing at Harper that Sunday night. Now, I don't play cello nor my bellow, but that night I felt like Sinessa's world lights and embrace a touch, a nibble, a bite. The men in black can't make me forget your look. Every day, every day, every day I write the book. But our book's chapters are chapters in between chapters, like that Will and Skyla magic store scene where Will first learns she's more than his quarry, but our story transcends allegory. My heart, like Stroker, explodes, for it's you I choose. I'm thrilled to be your toad. Thank you for being my muse. When you nod your head when we lay in bed, you make me feel keen like James Byron Dean, like I dreamt in color, I dreamt in red. And though I'm not reading Word on Magazine, lo, I still feel like it was all a dream because my life has been since the moment we met, like before sunrise the sun had never set. I've touched sod, I've smelled cod, I've seen birds. I tasted music where others heard noise. Lo, I tripped and fell in love with words. An athlete's body with a poet's voice, a poet's dreams marked by an athlete's poise. But I know I'm a better man when I'm with you, and I believe what Winston Churchill said is true. This is not just the start, nor is this the end. Rather, we are at the end of our start. Stelpamine, I'll be your lover and friend, for the most wondrous map that one can chart is the map with borders drawn by the heart. A kiss, a look, a memory I can't shake when we didn't watch the midnight sun by that lake. But I had paid airfare to Iceland Air, so I left Parnassus en route to Dallas, departing truth, arriving at Dare to Vixen's fixin' to fill my chalice with this town with the green sky scraping phallus. Like Roger Chance, I should tell you I'm disaster. The art of losing is impossible to master. Because your mom is not a member of the tribe and the distance. Too much for me to shake, imbibed with fear I didn't circumscribe us. So, for Dexter's or passenger's sake, I saw you as the garden, I the snake. As a boy, I never learned to love and be loved, so love for me like OJ with that stupid glove. So I threw in the towel to buy a vow to pen mellifluous words to your name. My line drive down the line was lining foul. I conveyed my heart to pre a game instead of to you in a deed quick claim. Now I'm back teaching these kids at high school. Sometimes life gives you melons, and I guess that's cool. It's not that I care about Drake's motto or Ricky Bobby's swagger shake and bake. But your body's a cello and your heart beats vibrato. And my favorite Drake swims in the lake you to take me to thrice in Reykjavik. A chance, a chance, my kingdom for a second chance. I love the way you think. I love the way you dance. But days became weeks and weeks for nights. I cannot forget your Tom Ford smell. I'm not the dark knight in these dark Fort Worth nights. I'm the poor soft moor turned on like Adele, questing for Beatrice like Dante in hell. Perspicacity may seem like a gift to some, but I desperately yearn to be happy and dumb because it's all coming back to me now. Just like Meatloaf said, you engulfed my head, the cellist low bow, your cat's loud meow, your big white bed, the children's books we read, the way you laughed at the way I sang, lady in red, but I left town like a Seattle supersonic. Damn me, Werther, why was I so Lord Byronic? Young and alive, I drive I-35, windshield wiping rain from my cold brown eyes, my Honda inside a ship capsized, and waves of regret, I realize I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Lo, I now know you were the song all along. Now I hear it, as loud as an ice bear's roar. Unlike the sirens sing through the Aegean mist, the wind sings true, ahava, aust, amor. You're the walking poem each night I kissed. Don't let go of our blueberry skirt tryst. In every language, the wind's song is the same. You're what Chuck D once called the game behind the game. Since the best first date is the last first date, let's go back to June, to that gibbous moon. My longing for belonging, you did say it. I'll imposter, Radney Foster, croon you with this Texas country. I'm in tune. 
Juliet, the dice were loaded from the start. And I bet, Lord, grant me chastity, but Lord, don't grant it yet. You catalyzed my boyhood love of rhyme. You loved me, unlovable me, oh you. You're the asymptote that transcend cosine. So I thought and I thought and I thought what to do and thought became this ballad penned in blue of an Icelandic bell and a Texan Hebrew, a poem first composed in my heart in the zoo. Our sagas best stanzas are not yet penned, but since poetry is that which is more than true, I quixotically hope your heart will mend. I don't know what else there is I can do. This, this is my 1400 word I love you. You bring light into my world like no one else can. I'm sincerely yours, Robert Alex Kaufman. Thank you.